Alright, I'm going to try this again, make it shorter video. Hopefully the mouse actually shows up. In fact, let me test that first. Alright, it works. So, um, I'm gonna have to edit this, um, not edit this, uh, have the microphone away a little bit while I, um, zoom in or, uh, move horizontally because I only have two hands. Um, so, this is the, um, theory, in essence, of, uh, how teleporter, uh, camera shifting works in Wonderland. So, what does this mean? <laughs> so, this is the upper left teleporter, and this is the lower right teleporter. Or rather, um, they're both, the both teleporter sets, but this is where Loof starts and would exit, and then this is the opposite, uh, teleporter set, so white and black teleporter up here, white and black one down here, and you bounce between the two. What happens is, as Loof exits the level, and actually goes back to this uh, main menu screen, or level select screen, uh, from, from the level, as Loof, as a sprite, as a body, as an entity, is all the way down here, the camera is still up here. And what happens is the game overcompensates and actually translates it down in the opposite direction over here. That's not what you see in game though for two reasons. Um, first, most obvious reason is it's actually over here, <laughs> not over here. And this is because Loof does not start again over here, Loof starts up here. So essentially Loof exits from this, the opposite corner and then starts again from this corner, which translates everything up and to the left in that direction. Um, and then secondly, there's also decay. So the longer that you take to um, exit back to the level screen after performing a maneuver, the more decay there will be. The more um, uh, the camera will center back down to where it wants to be, which is on loof. Um, which makes sense because, um, the, you know, it, it is going toward Loof and the longer you take, the closer it is. So, um, essentially what you want to do is, uh, you want to repeat the process of going in the odd telep- uh, exiting the level on odd parity to make the, um, uh, camera go over this way, but then it gets shunted back, uh, up and to the left in the same amount. And then you exit even parity uh, to make it go the opposite way. So from here, if you enter the teleporter, the camera will actually see Loof because Loof exits on this teleporter. But then if, upon entering the other teleporter and ending up back here, now you have the opposite situation where Loof is up here, the camera is down here. When you reload the level, it overcompensates and ends up up here. This time there's no translation because of the even parity of uh, uh, pops that you hear uh, when exiting the, uh, before exiting the level. Loof ended here and started here, uh, whereas odd parity Loof ends here and starts here on even parity is the same place. So it flips, it just mirrors. There's no translation back down, it's just a mirroring effect. When Loof uh, then goes back in an odd amount of times, preferably one time, the camera ends up all the way down here. And then an even amount of times, well, it actually ends up all the way down here. And then because it gets shunted back up and to the left by, via translation, it ends up over here. And then doing it again, the even, uh, even maneuver, it ends up all the way up here and then so on. You can keep doing this infinitely along this red axis, this uh, line that intersects the two dots, at least in theory. Now in reality, because of uh, decay, the shorter of the two axes, axes will uh, decrease, at least if you give enough time for decay to really set in. And um, uh, for what it's worth, too, is that it's hard to really go out an infinite distance, um, because, uh, it takes longer for the camera to actually catch up to there, and, uh, you, 
can't really tell how far out you are with these unless you have certain backgrounds like the city background or the forest background unfortunately for my tool i used warp because i thought it was funny but past the uh warp sphere you actually can't tell in hindsight that was a mistake on my part but still um so but what happens is you can theoretically go out infinitely in those directions and anywhere from here to about the middle here and that's because of decay because the level goes out and x y the same you know the, uh diagonally it either goes orthogonally in four directions or diagonally in four directions as it goes diagonally then once it reaches the shorter of the two coordinates it will strictly go horizontally um, but as you bounce between teleporters it'll go back um, diagonally but it won't go back horizontally essentially I'm um, not 100% sure that's what's going on but that's my best guess basically though you can de de decay your camera which is why you want this set up in the first place it can't be perfectly diagonal because well you still actually can kind of adjust it but it's much harder to um just because you can still offset your cameras and camera in other ways but it's much more minuscule so what happens is as it becomes closer to this, the middle it'll eventually lie somewhere either on like around here or up here you know in between the two and you can perform a cancellation by essentially instead of alternating parity to increase the distance and translating it etc you can go in at the same parity which basically undoes what you just did so say you're over here and you go in even parity basically camera gets closer diagonally and then it gets flipped and from here it only get like somewhere in the middle which is not what you want <laughs> at all it gets trapped in the middle more or less until you reset it back to uh, one of the corners but for all intents and purposes though um if it's far enough you do want to uh, cancel it because eventually it'll go down and diagonal until it starts bouncing between them but it's still far enough to the left or the right that it won't make much of a difference and the best way to do this is to have uh, that I found is to have the um, essentially f have it flip past where the other teleporter is so if you're even and it's t the thing is to the right a significant distance farther than the uh than is if you're uh, farther than the opposite teleporter then you can actually flip it from odd uh, from the odd teleporter all the way over here and then up etc so it, it gets complicated but essentially just alternate until you get a big distance flatten it and then kind of cancel out the shorter of the distances then once it's between the two as you see from the starting dot here which is not too difficult to get at then you perform the same alternating maneuvers and this will add the x and y distance to each direction essentially um so from here you end up over here if you go in the uh, odd teleporter then from what happens is it's actually the red circle here because it's not if I can click it I can't click there we are. Uh, it goes to that circle but because of the translation it ends up over here then you translate it back and it's all the way up here and you can keep doing this until eventually you can end up horizontal uh, strictly vertical from the teleporter either up or down and um, this allows you to basically go in any direction uh, you want and uh, basically you can translate it along the same parallel line here uh, along uh, this direction for, uh, just that whatever distance that you originally had uh, along that parallel line you will eventually get to where you want to go now this makes it a very long tedious process because 
in order to get just up here that uh, just vertically or even a little bit past where you wanted to originally just uh, using the alternation method you have to first zoom far out then can't make sure it's cancelled so eventually end up back in the middle and then rotate it and then alternate it so that it eventually basically as you alternate you add this line back to the point that you originally had and it will go up or down in that direction but with decay this is what it would look like if it were perfectly uh, parallel but because of decay you need even more distance in fact probably more like this honestly um, and so you, eventually you can get to where you wanted to go but it takes a very long time and a lot of trial and error it's not very precise and the moral of the story is just use shift or alt x but it is true that if you wanted to you could alter your camera any distance in any direction using just two sets of teleporters so yeah fun hope you enjoyed